City of Grand Rapids hosted its annual First Friday Art Walk, where community members had the chance to visit with artists while looking at their displayed exhibits. With this week's In Focus, reporter Zariah Simmons has more. Every first Friday of each month for the last 13 years is known to be First Friday Art Walk, where downtown is filled with art, artists, and community members who come to enjoy the show of live music and art. I think um, it's really, First Fridays have really become kind of a foundational part of our community art scene. Uh, the arts in Grand Rapids have really gotten a lot of support over the last decade or so. We've got a local arts council, um, arts commission, and um, just a lot of, we have a really supportive community and this is a way for that community to come together and just celebrate the arts and be together and it's a very fun social evening. We have food and wine and usually there's a couple of different venues that have live music. Tonight it'll be at the local brewery, there'll be some jazz, so it's just a fun, fun way to get together and celebrate our creative community. Grand Rapids Art has given local artists a platform to show off their talents and as well for the community to get to know who are the people behind the art that are displayed. From across the our exhibit process is fairly drawn out. We, have a, we do a call for artists every year um, in the spring and we have about a three month period of time where we accept proposals and, and then we meet a, as a committee and review all those and put together kind of an entire year at a time, a season of exhibits. Um, other places in the downtown area there's often local businesses will feature an artist for, uh, for the art walk, and so that's usually a little bit more, um, it doesn't have to be planned quite as far in advance. Um, so uh, people can connect with Grand Rapids Arts, which is our local uh, arts, a collaborative arts organization that sort of uh, manages First Fridays, and they connect artists with businesses, or if businesses are looking to feature an artist, we try to help them find someone to to spotlight. So. Art can be made out of anything if you put your mind to it, according to John Bauer. Art is about making creative things out of junk, mainly junk, but a lot of, some of this stuff is not junk, but I just feel like I'm, I can't paint, I can't watercolor, I can't do any of that, but I think I can make beautiful things out of old things, things that have patina on them, things that were plumb bobs, things that were wheels on a car, and I just love assembling them and putting them together and making them fun and creative. Artists always express themselves through their art, but John Bauer uses his art to bring awareness to suicide and mental health illness. piece of art that I have, you will find the number 988 stamped in it or written on it, and 988 is the crisis line to call and to, for people who are considering suicide or having a mental illness um, problem because my daughter took her life uh, 10 years ago and I'm really strong into creating awareness to break the stigma around suicide and mental health. So that's kind of why I have 988 on there to be a constant reminder to people. Reporting in Grand Rapids with this week's In Focus, I'm Zariah Simmons, Lakeland News. Grand Rapids Arts will be hosting First Friday Art Walk every first Friday of the month. For more information, you can check out the website below. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.